What's going on guys? Big Time 110. And today we have a ROM that at first glance I really thought it was another Pixel ROM clone. But boy was I wrong. This ROM has many features and so far everything's working great. Now let's begin with what you can expect. For one, the display here is working really good. With no stutters, no flickering, just 90 frames per second goodness and 90 hertz doing their job. By now you can expect the Google Now feed to be on the left. You know, every ROM so far has that. Under display settings we have theming. We have accent colors so you can check out all the colors available and if we go to headline body font here is where you could change the font style and now take a look at all the options available we also do get the new live caption and maybe every new android 10 rom is gonna have that option now under styles and wallpaper here you can choose how you want your quick settings to look like you can change your icons you know your wallpaper and even your ambient display clock style so check them out but before i forget guys Real quick, so usually I try uh, Google Pay on a lot of the ROMs and it doesn't work. Even with Magisk, I don't even have Magisk on this ROM and I test it out and it's working. Continuing with the ROM, Evolution X comes with their own custom settings. So let's check that out. If we go to status bar under clock options, we do have the ability to hide the clock. Under clock style, you can choose the location when you want to place it, whether that's gonna be on the left, the center, or the right, you get to choose that. Under date style, choose from the uppercase or lowercase, or just leave it as is, or choose the position where you wanna set it to. I was surprised that you can also choose the font style for the clock. Now check out all the different fonts that you could choose from. Wow. Now, when you first install the ROM, you'll notice how the top corners don't line up correctly. At first, I was a little annoyed by that, but once I came into the settings here, under rounded corners, I adjusted the extra padding and oh boy did it make a difference it made a huge difference i smiled just adjusting all those settings to match the status bar perfectly if we continue under status bar logo we get the option to display a logo on the status bar you can choose left or right which is cool and uh moving on to uh, battery here you can choose what style you want and if you want to show the percentage and if we move on to notification we do have edge lighting and you can even choose your favorite color and the duration of the flash and it actually works quite well you can can also choose how bright you want the ambient display to be under quick settings we have a lot of settings that we can change like the header image see i have a custom image right now you can choose from the many pre-installed images or choose a custom one that you could make your own like this one here if we want to change it we change it see boom change and if you want the brightness slider at the bottom instead of the top well here's where you would change that if you want to make your quick setting panel transparent so you can see through it then this is the setting that you would adjust and if we move on to the power menu up here there if you turn Turn on advanced restart you can reboot straight to the bootloader the recovery or just a simple system ui restart we do get the three navigation options just choose what makes you happy under lock screen we have pocket detection allow fingerprint detection in pocket mode which i'm not sure if that works for us because uh, you know we don't have a hardware fingerprint reader for it to work anyways we also get fingerprint unlock after reboot so you don't need to enter your password or pin you also get the ability to change the size and the font of the clock and date on the ambient display and turn on and off the charging info and animation you can also adjust the blur level of the media art here as well and gestures you get my favorite long press the power button to turn on the torch and you could also double tap on the status bar to sleep moving on to the hardware buttons here you can choose whether to use the volume keys to answer a call or wake your device or simply just skip songs or rewind you choose whatever you like under screen off animation you can set it to either crt or scale me personally i love crt that's my favorite animation so you will always see my roms with that moving into animations you know i don't really mess with these settings so i just leave them at default but you guys can mess around with them if you like over at miscellaneous we have a dedicated gaming mode guys now that's a win win for everybody when playing games i did not have any issues whatsoever everything ran great everything was nice and smooth no interruptions everything was perfect as it's becoming a tradition here here are some 3d benchmarks for this rom going back to miscellaneous under gaming mode you can adjust settings however you like we also have screenshot type and uh you can choose whatever you like here if we check security we have smart Lock, but it does not offer face unlock so that's a bummer we do get a screen recorder working great i tried it i used it i tested everything working good right next to it we have a compass and that's for you outdoor guys and, and gals so have at it and here are some of the tiles available we have so many options to choose from so just take a look at them and i'm sure there's something for everyone
Guys, what can I say about this ROM? Well, this ROM went well beyond my expectation. I really thought it would be another Pixel 4 clone ROM, but I was very, very wrong. Would I recommend this ROM to you? Yes, I would. Even if you like minimal ROMs like myself, this ROM is really, really good. It has great battery. It was on par with other ROMs when it comes to battery life, but the features that Evolution has baked into the ROM are what make this a great ROM. So if you have never tried it, what are you waiting for? Everything seems to be good on this ROM. It's nice and stable, it's solid battery. The Bluetooth works for streaming, music, calls. No problems here with none of that. So with that being said, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Although a little longer than usual, but I felt like I, I needed to point out some of the stuff that make this ROM stand out. But with that being said, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.